consulted with nature in order to discover cures for diseases like cancer and hypertension. He does not consider going to the namer of names and things in order to know his name. He has not confronted <coughs> Jesus on a different, deeper enough level. And if we really and finally get way, way, way back to our name, if we truly uh, are to know our name, we must first get acquainted with the name which is above every other name. All right. Yeah. The name of Jesus uh, connects us to God in a direct way. The theological profundities of, of the slave ancestors make this connection in the song, I told Jesus it would be all right if he changed my name. Oh, or in the words of that great gospel singer, Reverend Cleophus Robinson, when he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Or oh, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. If I'm lost from my name, from my roots, estranged from my being, from my God, Jesus promised to lead me all the way back. If anybody knows my name, Jesus has promised to give me a new name. If slave masters have hung the wrong name on me, he has promised to straighten it all out. All right. If the ox and the mule knows how to respond to their master, I ought to be able to respond to the <coughs> offer of Jesus. All right. If the house dog and the house cat know how to respond to their master's call, then I should easily recognize my master's voice. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? If the caged bird knows how to respond to its master's call, then I ought to be able to cry out, I love the Lord. Yes. He yes. heard my cry. Yes. Who do men say that we are? Well, men have called us many things. We've been lied about. Mm -hmm. We were stolen. We were treated like everything except the children of God. Oh, yeah. The world does not know our name. The world have called us boys when we were men. Mm -hmm. The world has called us colored when we desired to be black. Yeah. Oh, yes. The world has called us niggers when there is no nigger land. All right, yeah. The world has been All right, us right. on the evolutionary on, scale. And when Nikki, that renowned archaeologist, says we were first on the evolutionary scale. The world has tried to make us invisible, but some say we sing songs that not even the angels are able to sing. The world has tried to act as though we had no theological basis for our existence, but now our theological experience may represent salvation to the world. And it is because of this that we might be wise to change that great old spirit spiritual of nobody knows the trouble I've seen, to nobody knows the names I've carried. Nobody knows but Jesus. Amen. Sometimes my name has been up, Amen. sometimes my name has been down. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Andrew Young, yes. a close aide to the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Struggle in 1977, was appointed by President Jimmy Carter as an ambassador to the United Nations. Mm -hmm. And he analyzed a change in the South's attitude toward black who had just received the right to vote. Mm -hmm. And I quote from Andy, he says, used to be all you could hear in the South was nigger this and nigger that. Mm -hmm. As black folks gained a little more political power, Southern politicians start saying Negroes. Mm -hmm. Now that we have several million new black voters in the South, <laughs> it's amazing how fast those who yesterday <laughs> could only say nigger and Negroes <laughs> now say with the greatest of ease, black people. All right, now. <laughs> you see, being nameless or possessing a bad name can exist for the educated as well as for the uneducated. One man can have a PhD and be as nameless as a rock or a dead tree. Mm -hmm. To be without a name is to be without historical roots, without a heritage, without power, without a soul, without the one who names people in all things. Mm -hmm. One generation used to warn us, you got to know where you come from in order to know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that's like saying you got to know who you are mm -hmm. in order to know your purpose in the world. Mm -hmm. Let us look back for a moment at some of our nameless ancestors who, though nameless, uh, yet possessed names which were invisible to those who had misnamed them. 
they, they, they held on to names from heaven because they believed that God had the power to put his spirit in the angels who cannot sing. Right. They were talking about a power which caused great musical visions to spring from their soul. They were faithful products of a religious heritage similar to that of an old slave preacher who lived close to the source of life. On Saturdays and Sundays, particularly Sunday, it was a custom uh, uh, on this particular plantation to allow its slaves to worship with the white folk. Mm -hmm. But the slaves had to come in after the white folk and they had to sit in the back. Mm -hmm. As the story goes, the old preacher would say to each one as he filled out of the church behind the white, when y'all finish with chores, come on down in the woods yonder whereas we can meet the Lord. Because y'all ain't met him in here. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he said, come on down where you can hear the Lord call your name. All right, now. And when they finished their chores, they would sneak off one by one and gather at the feet of the old preacher, gather to hear God call their name. Having been called everything but a child of God, yes. they needed to hear the names called. Yes. Everyone needs to hear his name called yeah. once yeah. in a while. Yeah. All right. so Paul nice. says that one day there will be a sound like a mighty trumpet, yeah. that even those who died shall appear mm -hmm. at the calling of their name. All right. mm -hmm. And as they stood around, the old preacher called shouting, dancing, and great joy to stream into their souls and in their lives. Mm -hmm. And he told them, brothers and sisters, y'all ain't no slaves. God ain't got no slavery up in heaven. Y'all ain't no niggas. God ain't got no niggas in heaven. Y'all ain't all them names they give us either. Children, children, children. Do you know who you are? You're the greatest thing God put you. You're God's children. And you're the children, God gave you a name just like he gave you a song to sing. So you sing your song and you walk with your head up high. Because right. one day when the roll is called up, you yes. y'all going to be the first thing you can call. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not invisible. And somebody knows my name. Yes. He knows my name. I was here from the beginning. I was here when Eden was formed. I was here before the great oceans received their name. I was here before the first bird sang the first song. All right. I was here before the great beast of the jungle received their name. Right. I was here before the moon and the stars took their faces in the galaxy. I was here when Adam rebelled against God. Yes. I was here when Cain slew his brother. I was there when Jacob stole Esau's birthright. Right. I was there when the great prophet said, Thus says the Lord, thou shalt not serve false gods. Yes. I was there when Ezekiel prophesied through the dry bones. I was there when he was cried for justice and rolled down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. I was there when Daniel stood the test of the hungry lion. I was there when Jesus put that profound question to us. Who do you say that I am? I was there when Peter answered, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. I was there when he told Peter only God could reveal that name to him. Yes. Yes. Somebody said of Jesus, he's a man that nobody knows. Uh -huh. Somebody needs to say, he's the man evil men try not to know. All right, man. All right, man. And good men ought to do all they can to know. Yeah. Jesus, he's a man for all seasons. Yeah. And when they took him to court, Nobody knew his name. Yes. Pilate washed his hands and denied him. Yes. The yes. fickle masses whom he had fed and healed yes. were afraid yes. to identify with him. Mm -hmm. Peter denied him three yes. times. Yes. His disciples yes. ran away scared. Yes. Nobody knew his name. Yes. His friends didn't want to know him. Yes. His enemy didn't care to know him. Uh -huh. But he knew us and he loved us yes. until the end. Yes. As a matter of fact, when he Hang on to yonder's cross. Well, Even as the last earthly breath oozed from his physical body, yeah. he thought enough to us to say, Father, yes. forgive yes. them, yes. for they know not yes. what they do. Yes. I tell you this morning, Jesus knew who he was. Yes. But do we know who we are? Yes. Think about that. God knows each of us. 
Yes. God tells us that we come to know God, he will give us the power to become his sons yes. and his daughters. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, then if I'm his son, then I have his name. Yeah. All right. If I'm his son, I have a place. Yes. If I'm his son, then I have a purpose. Yes. If I'm his son, then I've got a whole economic yes. system yes. that Marxism, capitalism, and racism cannot take away. Yes. One day, yeah. I will inherit his name yeah. and all that it stands for. Yeah. If I'm his son, yeah. then when he calls me, right. I'll answer. Yeah. If I'm his son, yeah. then one day I'm destined to fly away with him. Yeah. If I'm his son, yeah. I must take him at his word. Yeah. And he tells me, if I, yeah. if I be lifted yeah. up yeah. from the earth, I'll walk. Oh, my God. 